on a windswept expanse of barren land, potmarked by prairie dog burrows in southern Colorado. A team of wildlife biologists and volunteers scour the area, inspecting each burrow to find the right ones. The burrows they seek are for the priceless cargo that members of the team carry in small kennels. From inside the kennels, peer the shining eyes and masked faces of the most endangered mammals in North America. Black-footed ferrets. These young ferrets are on the final leg of a long journey that began with a remarkable discovery 30 years ago. In 1979, after a long and devastating decline in their numbers due to habitat loss and disease, the last known black-footed ferret died in captivity. At that time, the only ferret species native to North America was believed to be extinct. Then, in 1981, came a remarkable discovery. A population of 129 black-footed ferrets was discovered on a private ranch in Wyoming. Unfortunately, a deadly plague was spreading through the colony and killing the ferrets. With black-footed ferrets again teetering on the brink of extinction, federal wildlife biologists decided to rescue the remaining 18 ferrets from the wild. Since then, the future of the black-footed ferret has relied upon an extensive captive breeding and reintroduction program run by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Today, the hub of the far-reaching program is located at the Black-Footed Ferret Conservation Center near Wellington, Colorado. A breeding population of ferrets is housed in large, sunny rooms under tightly controlled conditions. The males and females are housed in separate cages until the time is right for breeding. The Conservation Center produces the greatest number of young ferrets for reintroduction but other breeding facilities also participate in the program. One of the earliest black-footed ferret breeding facilities is located at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado Springs. The ferrets live in strict isolation in a special building located away from the rest of the zoo. While here, the ferrets undergo cage enrichment exercises where they are given empty paper bags to help establish their predatory skills. When mature, they're moved from the zoo to the conservation center in Wellington for the final stage of preconditioning before being released into the wild. During preconditioning, the ferrets live in special outdoor enclosures that simulate life in actual prairie dog burrows. From inside the enclosures, they can hear and see wild prairie dogs moving about on surrounding prairie. Here, they remain protected from predators while gaining experience in killing live prairie dogs. All black-footed ferrets must experience live kills before they can be released. Prairie dogs make up over 90% of a ferret's diet, and healthy populations play a critical role in the survival of wild ferrets. When the ferrets have completed their preconditioning at the conservation center, they're ready for release. These ferrets are about to be set free on Walker Ranch near Pueblo. They are the first endangered species to be released in Colorado in many years. Thanks to the combined efforts of Colorado Parks and Wildlife and the Colorado Cattlemen's Association, legislation was passed in 2013 allowing Colorado Parks and Wildlife to participate in the reintroduction of black-footed ferrets in Colorado if the releases take place on private lands enrolled in safe harbor agreements. 
Landowners enrolled in safe harbor agreements are not held responsible should something catastrophic happen to the ferrets. Monitoring the ferrets is an ongoing effort shared by Colorado Parks and Wildlife and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Periodically, researchers from each agency will gather at Walker Ranch to check on the ferrets. Two-person crews use GPS tracking to guide them on prescribed routes around the release areas at night. Powerful spotlights probe the darkness, sweeping the landscape and illuminating prairie dog burrows in search of the elusive ferrets. Black-footed ferrets are nocturnal, spending the majority of the day below ground in vacant prairie dog burrows. They venture out at night under the cover of darkness, going from burrow to burrow, searching for prairie dogs. The ferrets now roam free. Survival is up to them. From now on, the biologists and researchers can only monitor the ferrets and hope that the reintroduction efforts and the ferrets' natural instincts will ensure the future of North America's most endangered mammal. Thank you.